This is the third tutorial in a three-part series on creating auction items using Silent Auction Pro. If you've not yet watched part one, Best Practices, I would encourage you to do so. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create auction items using AutoCreate. To create auction items, you must be an auction administrator or higher level member. I've logged into Silent Auction Pro's demo group as Jean-Luc Picard using the demo admin welcome username and password. To get to the Create Auction Items functionality, click on Auction Admin, and then scroll down to the Create and Manage Auction Items table. There's two different ways to create auction items, bundling and auto-create. Auto-create is used to quickly convert single donations into single auction items. Auto-create is also used to create multiple winner items called ticket parties in Silent Auction Pro. Let's go ahead and click on the auto-create link and this brings us to the AutoCreate page. Let's say we wanted to convert all the remaining items in the Adventure category into Silent Auction items and put them into Section 3 in our event. At the top of the list of donations we have the ability to filter items by category and or title. In this case I'll just select the Adventure category and click on the Filter button. This narrows the list of donations down to just those in the Adventure category. I can easily select all the items by clicking on the Select All link at the bottom of the table. Let's say I want these items to be in the 300s, so I'll put 300 in the starting auction item number. I'll select the Silent Auction Type. When converting multiple items with different categories, Set the category to be same as the donation. That way Silent Auction Pro will set your max bid or buy it now price as appropriate for each different category. In this case, since all our items are in the adventure category, it really doesn't matter if we choose same as the donation or the adventure category, so I'll choose adventure. Set the section number to be section 3. We'll set the bid online to yes to show these items online. You'll notice AutoCreate allows you to set a max bid percent, min bid percent, and bid increment percent. In general, I suggest that you leave these at the values at which they default, but you can adjust them if you need to. Finally, let's click the Create Auction Items button and see what happens. In this case, we get a warning that Silent Auction Pro is unable to convert donations to auction items because there's a conflict with the available auction item numbers. If you want Silent Auction Pro to simply fill in the available holes, just click the Allow Interleave Auction Items checkbox and then click Create Auction Items. Silent Auction Pro will automatically fill in the available holes with auction items. Let's take a look at what happened. If we go up to Edit Auction Items and we scroll down to the 300s, You'll notice that we already had auction items defined for A300 and 301. 302 is available and Silent Auction Pro put the ride in the Batmobile there. A303 is two nights lodging and then 304 was available so the paragliding adventure went there. 305 was taken and Silent Auction Pro then put A306, the mountaineering expedition, there and the flying car ride in A307. So essentially it filled in the holes that were available in the low 300s.